Okay, kids, so we really like the WeatherGuard toolboxes. Um, you know, this is, uh, I'm sure you're like, yeah, a short bed truck with a big toolbox, but it's pretty handy because I, I mainly just run between the jobs with this toolbox. So it doesn't come with a light. I know WeatherGuard makes them, and, but where we have to get them in the rural Georgia, we get them from Tractor Supply, and they don't, I guess you could order the option from WeatherGuard. But if you want to do one yourself, um, you'll notice that we, we have it across there. But I like to use 3M automotive adhesement tape or attachment tape. It's like body mold trim tape. Put two little clamps on each end and one in the middle because these do pretty good. But if they ever start coming down, it'll pull off. So then run a wire down that has a bunch of little wires in it. So it has a lot of flex to it. And then inside of here, I bury a little relay. And then off of that relay, I use a magnetic contact. This is a Honeywell brand. That's the part number if you want one. And the nice thing about these is they have common, normally open, normally closed. And so that way you can turn the thing on and off with a magnet. And see, I can use the magnet inside this package to turn it on and off. That's pretty slick. So it's a quick way that you can get a toolbox light that goes on and off and you don't have to worry about. Pretty cool. Here's another little quick pro tip. So you notice that we've got the truck up, we had the door open. This is one of the trucks that we added a bunch of lights to. What you'll see here is you see I've got an alligator clip with just a little probably a 14 gauge wire and a little red alligator clip, 14 gauge wire. And it runs down here to this battery and I've got a six ounce battery maintainer on it. And I've got this little 20 amp resettable breaker. And so what I basically do is when I'm working on one of these trucks in my shop, typically I'll get a new truck in and I put all the lights. We have a couple of radio systems. Like I said, we do disaster coverage for Motorola. So I've got two Motorola radios. We have an outside siren speaker that we can do our radio rebroadcast with. So it may be in here for a couple of days and these trucks now have two batteries in them. And when you're doing upfits and you're working on your customer's trucks or you're putting them in, the batteries will, will discharge because you're running them. You know, the newer trucks I know have all the safety features that, that shut it off, but I like to use this battery with the charger in it and it keeps my battery trickle charge for my customer so that the battery never goes down, or in this case, it's my truck. So that's kind of a little a pro tip. Just get you a little battery, put your battery maintainer on it, and then your leads. It's super handy too if you're like doing a pickup, if you're doing like a trailer, or you need 12 volts, or if you need bench power to like check out those relays or whatever you're doing. It's a quick little pro tip. Get you a battery, battery maintainer. And then that way it'll just battery maintain your truck over the, I mean, I've had this truck in here for nearly two weeks figuring out stuff. So it's kind of cool.